10 miles to return an item to a dollar store, you might be Persian. If you ask for a price check at the dollar store, you might be Persian. If you get a job at the dollar store, so when you shop there, you get 50% discount, you might be Persian. If you haggle over the price of the stamp at the post office, you might be Persian. If your mother thinks you are God's gift to women in the world, you might be Jesus and Persian. If your mother thinks your wife is never good enough for you, you might be Persian. If, if your biggest dilemma is half pork, half price on sale, you might be Jewish or Muslim Persian. If you can lose 10 pounds by shaving your back, you might be You might be Persian. If your sister is hairier than you, oh, you can be anything in the Middle East at that point. If your girlfriend has a slight mustache, you might be Persian. If your parents travel to USA twice a year to cash their SSI and Social Security checks, you might be Persian. If you have three five-year-olds and they're not triplets, you might be Mexican. in a one-bedroom apartment with 19 other people, you might be Mexican. If you have divorced your wife, five years later you've remarried, but you still don't allow your first wife to date any other man in the world, you might be a male pig chauvinistic person. If you've lived in America for 30 years, yet you can't spell worth shit, you might be Persian. If you have a wife in America and a wife in Iran, you might be Persian. If a guy comes up to you and asks for a dance, you go, not with this song, maybe next song. Three seconds later, the guy leaves, you get up with five other women, you dance so provocatively, doing the donkey lips. Guess what, you definitely are Persian, there's a big chance you might be lesbian. If waxing three times a month means anything to you, you might be Persian. If a guy asks you for a dance, and you say no. Yet you dance with the other women so provocatively and you put Hollywood hookers to shame and you make them look like Mother Teresa, you might be Persian. If the smell of your perfume proceeds you to the room, you might be Persian. If, if you have to drive a BMW, even if it's a 1972 model, you might be Persian. If you're at a Las Vegas casino, and you're about to pull the handle of the slot machine, you go like, it's been long. You might be Persian. <laughs> if, no matter what happens in this country, if Governor Schwarzenegger gets his way, and you as a foreigner can become a president of the United States, Americans are congratulating your parents in the front row saying, congratulations, your son is the president of the United States. You must be really proud of him. Your mother opens her mouth and oh no, you should see these two better others. One is a doctor, the other one is engineer. You might be Persian. Uh, I thought it was really great, um, especially the stuff he said about you might be a Persian if uh, everything really spoke close to home and it reminds me a lot of like my dad, a lot of my relatives and things. Um, uh, the other guys, Rashid and uh, Axis is a people guy. <laughs> Uh, I thought it was all great. Um, definitely, I would definitely come to this stuff again. And uh, the dance special at the very end of it, I, I gotta say, it's gonna stick a while.